Today I will show you how to create a volumetric lighting lens for Snapchat using Lens Studio on Blender. But before we get into the tutorial, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss any tutorials in the future. Let's not waste any more time and start with creating this awesome lens. Before we go into Lens Studio to create this awesome looking volumetric lightning effect or god rays effect, we have to create 64 planes in Blender. So how do we create 64 planes? It's really simple. The first thing we now have to do is to hit the delete key on your keyboard and then go to add mesh and add a plane to your scene. Now we created a plane to our scene. And we will be changing some of the values. In this case, we will be changing the size of the plane to make it a little bit smaller and also changing the rotation to make the plane stand up looking like this. Really easy. Then we go to modifier, add modifier and in this case we will be adding the array modifier. And we will also be changing the count to 64, disabling relative offset and enabling constant offset and changing the Z value to 0.02. And now we have 64 planes stacked upon each other looking like this. But we are not done yet. It's very important that you hit apply right here. After you've hit apply and you go to file, export, export as a GITF 2.0 and choose one of your folders. In this case, I already created a folder, so I will be saving it right here and I'll be naming it 64 plates. And then I hit the export button. After we have created our 64 planes in Blender, we now have to import it into Lens Studio. There are two ways to import something into the resources panel into Lens Studio. The first way is to go to add new, import files and import it from there, or you can open your folder and drag and drop it into our resource panel like this. In this case, we don't need all of this information, so we will be deselecting them and just hit import. Now, our 64 planes have been imported into our resource panel. After we've added our 64 planes to our resource panel, we're just gonna open it up and drag it into our objects panel. Then we're gonna open it up again, click on light, delete it, click on camera, delete it, then click on plane. And to make the plane fit on all uh, phone screens, we'll be adding a screen transform and click on fix size. Then we go to advanced, change the rotation to 90, change the scale to 16, this scale to 20 and this one to 61. Then it's also important to make the z-axis 0 to make it very close to our camera. And as you can see, we don't have any material and texture added yet, so I will be doing that right now. Just go to add new, go to graph empty. And then we will be creating our graph empty and we'll be changing that later in our material editor. But first, click on choose material, click on graph empty, and there you go. We now have to add it to graph empty material we just added to our plane. And the first thing we have to do, just click one time on it and change the blend mode to add. Then click two times on it to open up the material editor. From there, there are two ways to add nodes. The first way is to go to add node right here and add a note from there or right click and add a note from library. Then we will be adding the 2D texture parameter, the texture parameter 2D or whatever you want to call it and this will be used for our device camera texture. After we've added this one we're going to add the uh, mix note which will be used for our uh, opacity and to control our opacity. Then we'll be also changing the channels to X and then make sure to connect the color RGBA to our uh, B input of our mix node. Then uh, we are going to um, connect this one to our color pixel. And as you can see, it looks a little bit weird and we will change that right now. But first, you just go to custom map right here and click on our device camera texture. It still looks white, but let's change that. First, we add another node and that will be our float parameter. This will be used to um, control the opacity of our uh, camera texture input. Then we connect it to our ratio of our mix and you won't see anything. And that's true because we uh, haven't um, like, like worked with our flow parameter here right yet. So first enable min, enable max to make it a slider like here. Um, I already know these values so follow along and I will just Change them right now real quick. Just make it like this to make it all work together. And there we go. And after we have done this, then you have a slider. 
which you can use to control the volumetric lightning or the gut rays to your liking. And that's how you create the volumetric lightning effect in Lens Studio. I hope you liked it. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe on this YouTube channel and hit that notification bell to stay updated. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be happy to help you. See you later.